the operational amplifiers we will see now and the purpose of this uh, particular lecture is to introduce the operational amplifier uh, by providing its background and the functionality of the operational amplifier and its characteristics and some knowledge relevance to electronic circuit designs how can you build some circuits by using this device okay so the, from the name itself you can understand what is the function of this device operational amplifier amplifier means what so whatever you give something in the input as an input signal it will amplify the magnitude at the output for example if you give 1 volt you may get at the output 2 volt or maybe you will get 5 volt so it's based on the gain of this amplifier so the function of this amplifier operational amplifier is to amplify whatever the input signal and it amplifies at the output and why do we call this is a operational amplifier operational so before uh, we introduce uh, before we came to this uh, digital computers digital computers you know the small uh, chip uh, we have millions of transistors inside so it can perform the operation it can work in terms of gigahertz speed but in the olden days uh, we did not have such a, an advanced uh, computer digital computer so we were using this operational amplifier to perform computations because by adding some resistors and capacitors to this operational amplifier we can perform all the operations the whatever the operation the microprocessors can perform that's why it was called as an operational amplifier that is the reason for the name um, if you look at the schematic and realistic view it will look like this this is the schematic view or uh, you can say this is the symbol of the operational amplifier uh, the symbol is very simple and easy to understand so it has two inputs v1 and v2 and it has two biasing voltages this is a positive biasing voltage and this is a negative biasing voltage v plus v minus and it has a single output so it has two input and single output simply we can say that so here you can see a little more uh, detailed uh, symbol of this um, operational amplifier so it has two inputs i just to take the example of ic741 ic741 this is the operational amplifier there are so many different types of operational amplifiers available in the market so for example now i am just only taking this ic741 uh, for this example but basically all the operational amplifiers are similar not the same but they are similar so we have the input whatever the input we are giving to this positive input terminal that is called non inverting input and whatever the input we are applying to the negative input terminal it's called inverting input so why we call this is a non inverting and inverting input i will explain in a while but just to remember this is important so whenever you see this positive terminal then there is a non inverting input terminal and negative is called inverting input terminal and we have the biasing voltages v plus v minus we can also say uh, v saturation plus v sat plus and v sat minus you can just remember for now biasing voltage uh, just v plus and v minus and it has a single output so what is the output voltage output voltage is equal to a times v1 minus v2 so here i am applying v1 in this input uh, terminal and then i am applying v2 in this input terminal so what this amplifier is doing it takes the difference between these two input signals v1 minus v2 multiplied by this gain of this operational amplifier because each operational amplifier is designed by the manufacturer with a specific gain so this is the gain is indicated by a so this is the a here so a multiplied by v1 minus v2 this is the output this is what we are getting uh, at the output of this operational amplifier and i told you this these are the uh, operational amplifier chips when you look at in practical uh, so when you see the op amp you should know how to identify the pins so for example it has eight pins 
one, two, three, four. The other side is similarly one, two, three, four. So here you can see a small round. So when you see this kind of round, maybe this round will be in this uh, left corner or right corner, or it can be in the top. So it can be either side. This is to help you to identify the pin numbers. So if you just hold this one in front of you, so this is pin number one and uh, sorry, this is pin number one, this is pin number two, this is pin number three, and this is pin number four, five, six and so on, and this is eight. So this uh, circle, you should always remember whenever you take the operational amplifier eyes in your hand, how to identify the numbers, because you are going to connect the components and circuits to the, to the correct pin. So you should know the correct pin number of each IC. Um, and of course, it's coming nowadays in two different packages, a DIL package and the SMT package. So now let's move. So uh, now we will see two different types of uh, operational amplifiers. One is the non-inverting amplifier. So non-inverting amplifier, why do we call this as a non-inverting amplifier? Because we are applying the input to this a positive terminal. The positive terminal is called non-inverting input terminal. Non-inverting input terminal. So that is why we call this as a non-inverting amplifier. The other input, the inverting input is grounded. So this means, it means the voltage potential at this input terminal is zero. And we are applying input only to this terminal. So now what is the output? So now I am applying uh, some input. We know the formula for this V out. V out is A times of the difference between V1 and V2. So now V2 is zero uh, because it's grounded. So what will happen here? The V2 will be zero, it will be gone. So A times V1, this is the output of non-inverting amplifier. So this is the formula for output of non-inverting amplifier. Here, please note down, I do not have any feedback. If I have feedback, feedback means what? I am taking portion of or small part of the output and just feeding back to this input terminal. That is called feedback. I don't have any feedback. That is why it's called open loop configuration. So first, we are going to see only the open loop configuration. So open under open loop configuration for this non-inverting amplifier, this is the formula for output. So here also you remember whatever the input signal I give to this terminal, I'm giving to the positive. So I am just getting amplified the signal, the same signal. The phase is the same. Uh, here you can see phase. This phase is the same in both signals. But here you can see, this is the inverting amplifier. In the inverting amplifier, what I am doing here, you can see the difference now I am applying the input signal to this inverting input. This is called inverting input and the non-inverting input is grounded. So now what is the output? So now you see the formula again. The formula is V out is equal to A times of, sorry. Okay, this is the A, A is the gain. So A times of V1 minus V2. Here V1 is zero. This is the V1 is grounded. So V1 is zero, then what's the output? V out is equal to A minus V2. So that is minus A V2. So minus is indicating there is a phase difference. You see here, the input is starting from here. It's going up and then coming down. And here you can see when we get the output, the output is amplified, that's correct. But the phase is not the same. The instead of starting from here, it's starting towards negative. So it's going towards down and then going up. So this is called 180 degree phase difference. So whatever the input you apply to this inverting input terminal, it invert, it invert 180 degree the uh, signal at the output. That is why we call this as an inverting amplifier, but it's not the same here. In the non-inverting amplifier, Whatever the signal you apply, it does not invert. It just give as it is. So it's non-inverting input uh, terminal. That is why it's called a non-inverting input terminal or this is a non-inverting amplifier. 
So this is uh, just uh, remember this formula. It's very simple. So you make V2 as a zero. So the output is A V1 and there is no phase difference. Here there is no minus. Here you can see it's a plus because V1 is a plus. So A, A times V1. And But here in the opposite, you are applying the input to the negative terminal. So you are applying the input. If you apply in the formula, the same. So here the V1 is zero. So minus A times V2, that is the output. This minus is indicating there is a phase difference at the output with respect to the input. So whatever the input you apply, it will be shifted or it will be inverted 180 degree. If I apply here another type of input, now for example, now I apply this kind of input. So I'm starting from here. What will be the output here? So the output will be, it's, it will start from here. So whatever you apply here, it will be just inverted at the output. Uh, of course, this will be amplified. So.